what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so it looks like we have our first fresh face fresh fresh face to be casted in the upcoming screen relaunch from paramount pictures radio silent spyglass media i uh, still don't know what the title is but we're going with screen five that's what all the articles are running with for all intents and purposes this will be the fifth entry and it's going to be picking up from screen four so it is technically screen five we just don't have an official title yet but we now have another casting uh a cast announcement another cast member that has been announced not nev campbell unfortunately as you know from the thumbnail and from reading the title of the video we just have a new face a fresh face who's never been involved in any screen pictures but they have been involved in tv series like in the heights if i'm not mistaken and vita uh, and i believe this individual is the star of vita her name is melissa barrera and she has landed supposedly a key role in screen five now what i will say based off of the image of her uh she's described in this article from deadline as a rising mexican actress uh so already off the bat i already have an assumption of who and what character she will be portraying just from the character descriptions that i made a video on in regards to uh many weeks ago when all the casting not casting but character leaks came out it was described that there was a character in or characters involved in screen five where they are of hispanic descent uh and i did mention how the characters sound more diverse than any screen entry we've gotten we have a lot of diversity that we appear to be having going on in this franchise or in this entry that they're aiming for and it was described as having like uh, a mexican or some type of some type of character with a hispanic ba background with a twin brother that character's name was mod she was described as being 18 and i believe also very outspoken so based off of that i'm willing to bet that melissa barrera has landed the role as mod in screen five they were they're not detailing what character she is portraying they're just saying she has landed a key role in the project now key role would of course mean she's going to be amongst the supporting cast she's going to be amongst the supporting cast a lot of people who don't read up on things might assume that she is definitely going to be a number one contender for being Ghostface, since she has a key role in screen five and that's all they want to say when they say key role they're trying to hide the identity of the character she's portraying because of the leaks that came out she's going to possibly be playing the role of mod she's fulfilling the role of mod if she's not fulfilling mod uh that's that'd be very interesting to see what she does in the plane but i believe she's fulfilling the character of mod she could be fulfilling the role of a character we don't know but based off of her description uh her having an hispanic background she's gonna be most likely portraying a character that i've already described in a previous video and that character is an 18 year old who has a twin brother named mod so they go again into detail mentioning how this project is looking to start shooting in wilmington north carolina later this year uh with no pending changes of course shooting later this year hoping to wrap up production by the end of the year and then release it sometime in 2021 through paramount pictures we know theaters are opening up pretty soon in fact i'm going to the theater this weekend uh to see unhinged so depending on how the theaters perform sorry <laughs> got choked up depending on how the theaters perform with unhinged tenant and Candyman, if that even manages to make it pending and barring that we have no complications and they don't abruptly shut down again due to rises in covid numbers because i don't believe amc theaters or any other theater chain has had a problem opening up in any other country but of course we might be the first person to be we might be the first country again to have issues arise from movie theaters opening and honestly it wouldn't shock me it wouldn't shock me it seems like we can't get anything right when it comes to this it is not that we aren't performing the the tasks that need to be done because if i see people in my theater that aren't wearing masks i'll i'll disclose that in a, in a, in a video so i'll share my experience about going back to the theater and i'll go over how many people were, in, were wearing masks how many people took them off when the lights went off at the end of the day while i know there's a lot of people that aren't abiding by the guidelines i also believe there's an agenda against us yes i'm one of those theorists i believe there's an agenda against us because america seems to be the only country that can't get anything right and i just wonder how much of us how much of us really are not getting anything right and how much of this is just a ploy to keep on having the american people but doing the things that they want us to do so that's just my theory but getting back away from that back into screen five if the theaters perform well if there are no barring issues if it can finish production by late 2021 as it's planned 
shooting in Wilmington, Raleigh, and and I believe Northport, North Carolina, if that's the name of the city, I might be mistaken. Uh, There's at least three destinations that I know Screen 5 is going to be shooting in. I would not be too shocked if we do get Screen 5 by, yes, April of 2021. If they want to shoot for the anniversary of Screen 4, by all means, shoot for that. They might be wanting to just push it out earlier because of the fact that we know we know that movie theaters are going to be looking for big big projects like real in audiences so while ideally i would want it to come out in december of 2021 they're probably going to push it for april or earlier in the year just so the, for the fact that well hey look at all these big projects that are coming up maybe around you know you know the time screen five is coming out early next year everything will have to calm down uh hopefully we're under new leadership as a nation hopefully the the numbers and maybe there's a hopefully a vaccine by then and everyone will be excited to go out and see screen five you know this might be the first big thing after the vaccine is out and people are rushing back to the theaters to go see ghostface again this that and the other we have a major uh promotion for paramount pictures involved urging people to get out and go see this uh and i just feel like they'll, they'll probably push this to come out in 2021 earlier than later because of just how lacking the theaters are right now with content and i know 2021 is going to be content heavy i will guarantee they're going to want to of course spread everything out but they want to have certain projects come out sooner than others Some, something that they will reel in audiences before the next honestly though given how most people love the movie theaters and how it's been closed for five months now in our country i see everybody going to I, I see everybody rushing back out as soon as they open uh, i'll let everybody know what the turnout is when i go friday uh, but getting back into this whole casting thing. So we still don't know about Nev Campbell. We now know that we have three people back on board, or three people involved. We have David Arquette back in his role as Dewey Riley. We have Courtney Cox back in her role as Gail Weathers. And we have now Melissa Barrera perhaps playing the character Ma. She's on board regardless. Uh, no official word on what character she's portraying. I believe it's Ma. That's my honest opinion. Uh, and it looks like I'm I might be a little wrong when it comes to what they are doing. They might they might continue to roll things out like this regarding casting until production starts. Or what they might do is like I said before, they still could do it. I see honestly us getting the full casting announcement when Nev Campbell is announced as being a part of the project. Melissa Barrera, she might not be the last, but she might be the last this is just a theory. Let's just say she's the last person we find out before Nev Campbell. When we get that Nev Campbell announcement, that's when we'll find out about everyone else. Melissa Barrera might just be the last individual casting announcement that we get. And then when Sydney Prescott, Nev Campbell is announced, that's when we'll get the full spreadsheet. Because again, I believe it's blatantly obvious Jocelyn Hudon is involved. I keep getting tagged in her activity she's doing. She's continuing to like these comments about Screen 5, Screen 5, Screen 5. Maybe she just appreciates the fact that people managed to dig and find her audition tape. Or maybe she's she's literally liking comments that say like this to confirm if you're in Screen 5. So we have three confirmed cast members and a fourth unofficial one that has yet to be announced, Jocelyn Hudon. So if she's not announcing the project, I'll be severely disappointed because honestly, outside of me watching some of her, her videos and seeing some of her acting in the past i think she'd be she looks very final girl s i love to see jocelyn hudon in the movie i can't wait to see what melissa barrera brings to the table because i haven't watched too much of it i believe it's on its third season now and i haven't watched too many of her other projects but from what i've seen of her she seems very uh i know she i know she's the main star of vita and vita is still going on so from what i've seen from her she doesn't she's not a bad actress at all she's just not someone i pay too much attention to so i can't wait to see what happens with her character who she plays I'm, again i'm 100 certain it's mod um but can't wait to see what all happens with this are you guys excited about melissa barrera's involvement if you're familiar with this actress what can you say about her down in the comment section below who else do you think we'll be we will be getting to see in the project do you think jocelyn cudon will actually be appearing in the movie as Teresa? who do you think is going to play sarah do you think sarah is actually secretly kirby and what if sarah isn't kirby or who do you think sarah is i actually will have another video coming out later today discussing who i believe sarah is but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.